So hello everyone, welcome to this another video of Scale Up India. I'm Abhishek Verma and you are watching the announcement video of our new Hibernate series. So if you are a Java developer or into this field from a long time, then you must have heard about the Hibernate. Hibernate is one of the most popular ORM frameworks which is used in almost all the production based applications which are going to interact with the database and hence whether your application is just a Java based application or you are making usage of Spring Boot, you need to have a basic idea of Hibernate in order to interact with the database effectively. And hence, we are here with a new series of Hibernate, where we are going to learn about each and everything about Hibernate from scratch. So let's check what we are going to cover. So let's see what do we have in our expected TUC. So first of all, we will be just revisiting our Pakistan application which we made in our JDBC series. So we will see that how we were making usage of JDBC and we will also discuss the disadvantages of directly using JDBC and we'll just go through about the whole scenario. Because this Pakistan application only we are going to enhance in our Hibernate series. Now after this we are going to talk about Hibernate. First of all, we will discuss why do we need the Hibernate because generally it's not important that you use a particular thing, but it is important that you should know why do you need to use that particular thing. So we'll discuss why do we need it, what is it and then we will start with the how part and that is the implementation part of the Hibernate with the help of demos. Post that, we will be again checking all the CRUD operations using Hibernate. So these are going to be the same CRUD operations which earlier we did just with the help of JDBC. So that you can easily correlate between these two and see what are the advantages you are getting. So we are not going to talk about the advantages only theoretically but even practically. Now post this, if you are just thinking about a very basic idea of Hibernate then only these three videos will be sufficient. But if you want to enhance your career and you want to have a deep knowledge of Hibernate, then we will be talking about the various primary key generation techniques which are used in the Hibernate. So there are many techniques used and we will be talking about around three or four which are popularly used. After this, we will be talking about eager and lazy loading. So whenever you are going for any kind of let's say interview, so this is one of the most famous question which is asked from the Hibernate about the eager and the lazy loading. So we will be talking about this also. Then we will be talking about various mapping techniques. So here it can be a one to one mapping. We will be talking about one to many mapping, many to one, many to many mapping also. So that anytime whenever you wish to use any kind of mapping, you can again just revisit our videos and you can check what needs to be done. Now here, the interesting part of this series is that we are not just going to say that okay, we need to use this annotation or we need to do this particular thing. But we will also try to understand why do we need to use that particular annotation only and which all features or which all arguments we need to pass in that particular annotation step by step. Now after this, we will also talk about the various inheritance techniques. Now generally you may feel that okay you are not going to make usage of inheritance in your entities but who knows maybe it can be asked in any kind of interview or you may need to use this in your particular project. Then here it is. So we will be talking about all the famous inheritance techniques also again step by step. After this we will be also discussing about the Hibernate query language because we will try to see that okay can everything be done just with the help of Hibernate methods or do we have anything like query also. So this Hibernate query language will be covered here. We'll also see what is the difference between the HQL and the famous SQL. After this we are going to cover another important aspect of Hibernate that is the criteria API. So this is a little bit tricky part of the Hibernate which many people just skip but we will try to make it interesting just with the help of our demos. Now after this we will be talking about a little bit of theoretical and we'll see that what are the various entity states 
whenever we are making usage of Hibernate and what is the meaning of persistence context. Although you will be using this persistence context and all these entity states in all the previous demos, but here we are going to talk about them in detail. Then we will be talking about the caching mechanisms in Hibernate. So whether it is going to be a first level cache or whether it is going to be a second level cache. We will see each and everything again step by step. And at the end, as you know that Hibernate is a JPA implementation. So it is making usage of JPA specification. So we will try to see that let's say in future you need to switch from Hibernate to some other ORM provider. Then what other changes you need to make and how you can minimize those changes directly by using the CRUD methods provided by JPA. So all these will be covered in our upcoming videos and that too with the help of demos. So as you know that we focus less on the theoretical part because it is just my perspective that you can learn the theory from any website. So there are so many websites, there are so many books also. From there you can just read out each and every theoretical part. And it is very important also in order to have a complete knowledge of the topic. But not only theoretical, we also need to have a practical knowledge. So here the goal is not to explain you the things just by reading out some lines or just pointing out to some websites, but to tell you each and every stuff with the help of demos and that too practically. Now that was all about our expected TOC. If you feel that any of the topics has been missed, then you can tell in the comment section of this video or in the later videos also, you can tell if I'm missing anything here and we will be able to incorporate that particular change if it is related with the Hibernate. Now let's talk about what are the various prerequisite required in order for you to understand this Hibernate. So the number one is Java. So I won't say that you can directly go for Hibernate without knowing Java. Obviously you need to have a good knowledge of Java here. Now here when I say Java, so I will be making usage of JDK 17 here, the JDK 17 library. And besides this, you should have a good idea of all the Java 8 features because here we will be trying to make usage of streams and lambdas in our coding. So we are not going to make usage of simple for loops and other things, but these enhanced features. And whatever we are going to provide is not a very basic demo, but it is going to be a full flesh demo. You can just enhance the demo and then you can make usage it in your college if you are a college student or you can just try to make your own POC also if you are a fresher or you are working professional. Then besides Java, you need to have a brief knowledge of Apache Maven also. So we already have a video of Apache Maven and why do we need this? So we need Apache Maven because when we are going to make usage of Hibernate, we don't get all the required libraries and all the required classes by default from Java. For that, we need to make usage of Hibernate jar files. Now, one option is that you add the Hibernate jar files manually, but then it is going to be difficult later on. Hence, we will be making usage of Apache Maven here. So all our projects are going to be Maven based projects and in our pom.xml, we are going to provide the dependency and with the help of it, we will be creating the demos. So a basic knowledge of Apache Maven is required. And if you don't know, then you can also watch our videos of Maven series. So just three videos are there. Out of them, at least if you will watch a one or two video, that is going to be more than sufficient. The best part is those videos are also making usage of Pakistan application. So it is going to be easier for you to first watch that and then come to this particular series. Now after this, another important aspect is that you should have a sound knowledge of database also. I mean, before this, watching this video, you must have interacted with the database. So you should be having a very basic knowledge of SQL. Although here in Hibernate, we say that as a developer, you don't need to work with the messy SQL things. But still you should have a basic knowledge so that you can easily differentiate that how Hibernate is going to make your job easier here. 
and not only SQL if you know JDBC then also it's well and good so you can just watch a video of JDBC also at least one video of JDBC if you will watch that is going to be more than sufficient and if you don't know that then we are going to revise the things in other very first video also because there you know that our first video is going to be crowd operations with the help of JDBC so everything will be revisited there now I believe that whenever you are learning anything so only having the theoretical knowledge is not sufficient it is also equally important that whenever you are learning something you should try the things practically on your own also and for this you should have some software in your machines so that parallelly you can try the demos so for this there is a particular list again so first of all you should be having JDK in your machine now it can be any latest JDK so the latest one is 21 so you can go for JDK 21 or as per the industry currently 17 or 11 is used so I will be making usage of JDK 17 you can go for 11 17 even 8 will do the job or if you have 21 then also it's good but my demos are going to be with JDK 17 now the next thing is that you need to take help of the IDE so obviously you are going to code somewhere not the notepad so for this you can go for Eclipse you can go for IntelliJ you can go for NetBeans you can go for any of the other things but don't say that I will be directly trying to code in the online compiler that is not going to do the job because we are not going to create small snippets but we are going to make full fledged projects now after this since we are going to interact with the database I mean Hibernate is basically going to interact, help you to interact with the database without database you can't understand Hibernate so we will be making usage of MySQL if you wish you can take help of PostgreSQL or MariaDB or other things also and things are not going to change much only a very small part of the whole project is going to change that also I will cover in my videos but in order to ensure that everything is same as per my machine you, you can have the MySQL community server and workbench installed in your machine and again all of them is free of cost and besides all this the another important software which is not required in your machine of laptop or desktop but in a human brain is the dedication so as you know that here too many things are going to be there now you need to be dedicatedly watching these videos in order to understand the hibernate otherwise if you will miss any one of the videos in between then you won't feel connected with me and then you will feel that okay hibernate may be difficult but that's not the case we are going to cover each and everything with the help of easy but real life based demos so hence you need to watch our videos with dedication and besides this you need to try those demos also and for demos as you know that I'm not going to charge you anything so those demos are going to be available to you free of cost so let me take you that from where you can download those demos also so this is my github repository and as you can see that I have already created a repository for hibernate currently here I haven't made anything much it is just a txt file so I will be uploading the demos step by step along with the videos so with each and every video whatever the demo we are showing in the video that will be uploaded here so you can easily download the demo from here import the demo in your machine that is in your Eclipse and then you can practice the thing which we have seen in the video if you find that anything is missing or if you feel that something is not working then again you can just tell me with the help of YouTube comments and believe me I'm going to reply you for that so that was about the demos and the next part is that in case if you feel that you don't know about any particular topic then for this you can watch our playlist so here you can see that we have a full fledged playlist for the Maven we have a particular playlist for the JDBC also and we have other playlist for the advanced Java topics also where you can see all the advanced Java topics like it can be a lambda it can be a stream it can be generics it can be exception handling each and everything will be covered here so I will be making usage of all these things in one or the another place so for this you need to watch our videos regularly and before I 
release my next video you can have a look about these videos and another thing which you need to do and again that is going to be free of cost is that you need to subscribe our channel so currently you see that we have only 477 subscribers but all these demos things I mean they take some hard work so if I'm doing that much amount of hard work then you should also support me and for that you just need to subscribe beside this you need to comment also so that we can tell YouTube that okay these videos are of good quality and they are helpful so that YouTube push them to more public and that's it I need so thanks everyone and hope to see you in the next video